Hey friends, today I want to show you some techniques around image searches and InDesign's color palettes. I'm going to start here by searching for an image of a uh, spring point headlight in South Portland. And the first thing I'll do is click the images button. And then in tools, I'm going to go to usage rights and choose labeled for reuse. After I get there, I'm going to start looking for an image that I like the look of. And I guess uh, for my purposes, I think this one will work fine. It's on Flickr. So just so you know, you need to click on this button down here in order to get the highest resolution you can. So I'll click there. And then I will choose my download size. And right now I'm going to choose the original because I see it's 854 pixels wide. So I see that went to my downloads folder. I'm all set to start my work with it. And I'm going to set myself up with an 8.5 by 11 vertical document. Just giving it a quick name here. I know it's going to be for print because I want it to have a CMYK color profile. Uh, for now I'm not going to work with columns and the margins look fine. So I'll choose File Place and grab my image from the downloads that I just selected, just downloaded. Here it is. So because I only clicked once, it brought the image in at its full size. If I make this image any larger, it will become pixelated. InDesign's got some new features, so let's take a peek at the Color Theme Tool. I'm going to click on it once, and I'm looking, I want to create an, uh, a magazine layout, perhaps, that matches all of the colors in this. So I can either click once on this image anywhere, and automatically a color palette is chosen that includes all the colors in this image, or a color range from this image. Usually the colorful option is the one that most closely matches the colors, but there are other options available too. Another choice is to, let me reset the tool, uh, to, let me also scoot this out of the way, to draw a little box that will create a color range. So if I draw a box like this, now what I'm offered here is a range of colors that goes with that box. Look what happens if I choose a similar range. Let me reset my tool. So now I have some more lights in this uh, blue range. So a click here will add these colors to my swatches palette and a click here will add the colors to my Creative Cloud library. I very rarely will choose this unless it's a color palette that I've just fallen in love with and want to use many times over. Most often, for just this document, I'll choose this one to add it to my current swatches palette. So now when I open my swatches palette, there it is at the bottom, the colorful theme.